If you're in an East Tennessee post office built in the late 1930s, early 1940s, or even some buildings constructed later, look up around you. You may see some art created some 75 years ago when Franklin Delano Roosevelt was president. The New Sentinel took some day tri trips recently to look at some of this art created through the New Deal program. A lot of the art was painted as murals, like this one that's in the Lenore City Post Office on Broadway. It's called electrification, and it shows workers installing power lines across the field. In Sweetwater, the mural is called Wild Boar Hunt. Here's a detail of some of the boars and one of the mural's hunting dogs. Not every piece of art created through the program was a painted mural. This is a terracotta sculpture of a deer family. It's called Wildlife, and it's in the Rockwood Post Office. This 1939 mural is called A View from Johnson's Bluff. It was painted for the Dayton Post Office. When the post office moved, the building became home to Dayton Water and Electric. The mural with its colorful details remained in its original building. Here's where the artist signed his name in the right hand corner. Horace Day's mural Farm and Factory was painted for the Clinton Post Office. And when the post office moved, it brought its mural with it. The post office mural now hangs high on a wall just inside the building's entrance. In La Follette, this mural is called On the Shores of a Lake. Just like in Clinton, when the La Follette Post Office moved, it brought its mural, which was then cleaned, with it. In Jefferson City, the post office on Old Andrew Johnson Highway shows this mural. It's called Great Smokies and Tennessee Farms. The mural was painted for this building, its details include lots of the rolling farm hills. This mural is called TVA Power, and it now hangs in the Newport Cock County Museum, which is in the Newport Community Center. It's open by appointment by calling the community center. The mural was, however, painted for the former Newport Post Office. It's got details of both farm and industry. At some 48 feet long, it's a lot larger than some of the other murals that are in East Tennessee Post Offices.